Good afternoon, this is Sharon from the House of Prayer, and I'm here to give you a prophecy that was given to Bertha Dude on June 15, 1957. It's titled, In the Beginning Was the Word, and this word was given today. In the beginning was the word, and the word will exist for all eternity. The word is the emanation of my love. It is my connection with every creation, which being conscious of its identity, desires to unite with me, because only this desire, the will to hear me, will result in a being's ability to feel touched by the word's inherent strength of love. The word provides the being with evidence of another being, which thus speaks to it. The word emanated from me when essence of being from within myself entered into life. I gave the essence of being the ability to receive something within itself which penetrated it as word, as a formulated thought, and which demonstrated the presence of a second being wishing to communicate. Only the created being needed my word and therefore it is said in the beginning was the word i myself exist eternally but as long as no other spiritual being but myself existed it was not necessary to pronounce my word however i intended to speak to the created spiritual being in order to intensify its bliss it was unable to see me but I wanted it to hear me. It should be able to share my thoughts, which therefore sounded as words, within itself, and which in turn stimulated the spiritual being itself to think, to freely use its mental capacity and its will, because I had externalized the being to be independent, but it should also be able to stay in constant contact with me through the exchange of thoughts which express themselves through the word. I was filled with love beyond description when I created beings in the image of myself and to urge the impart myself to these beings motivated me to speak to them and tell them my love for them. In so doing, they also felt the bond with the being, which loved them in abundance. Thus my love flowed into these beings in the form of my word, and they too were able to respond to my love, for they were the products of my love. Therefore they were loved themselves and their fundamental nature. They could also understand and reply to my word. They were equally capable of communicating with each other by way of the word. But this always consisted of the thoughts which first flowed from me to them in form of my word. For the word came forth from me, since I myself am the word of eternity. The all creative strength, which is love in itself. And the word will exist eternally, and I am eternal. The word had a beginning, but it will remain forever, because my creative spiritual essence cannot cease to exist. Hence, I will eternally speak to and thereby delight this spiritual being, just as the strength of my love will flow to the spiritual being, thereby touching and delighting in it in form of my word. I myself am the word, and I give evidence of myself to my living creations by way of the word. They can hear me, even if they are unable to see me, and they can feel me that I myself speak to them, their God and creator of eternity, whose infin infinite fatherly love 
expresses itself in a way which verifies a link between the Creator and the creation, between the Father and His child. And the Word will sound for all eternity because the love of the creation cannot cease and consequently the creation will also experience this love. I will always speak to my children. I will pronounce my word throughout infinity. I will not just speak to the spiritual beings of light, but I will also speak to people on earth who know little as yet about the infinite love of the Father for his children. In that case, I will make use of a person who joins me voluntarily and therefore serves me as an instrument. For all the people shall know that I exist, and they shall also have proof of it in form of my word, an outstanding divine emanation of love. However, whether they allow themselves to be addressed by me, whether my word touches their hearts, is only ever the result of goodwill, which I do not want to gain by force. But anyone of goodwill shall also recognize me myself in the word, and anyone consciously allowing himself to be addressed by me has also received my illumination of love, which will never be without effort, effect. And blessed is he who consciously allows himself to be spoken to by me, for he will enter the sphere of my love voluntarily, and then my love will constantly flow to him. And he will achieve the state again when he will hear me always and forever because he is sincerely united with me once again. Amen. John 1 verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All these were made by him, and without him was not anything that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not.